There's a great app called Card Flow. So with Card Flow, you can press this plus button right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and touch this gray area. And I can make it big. So if you see my iPad, it is now bigger. And what I do at this particular point is pinch the screen. It's not always as simple as it looks, but I tap and it says add a card. It will give me an index card as the original look it tends to have. But I don't want an index card because as I mentioned before, I'm going to do storyboarding with my students. So what I'm going to do is go into this corner area that's kind of like a settings area right here. We see a couple of different things, but we're going to focus on settings. Okay, so I'm going to tap the settings, and when I tap settings, settings, these options appear. So the option that I'm interested in right now is template. So I'm going to hit template. And when I hit template, you can see various options. And the options I'm usually interested in are using the uh, rectangular one over here or this longer one. But I'm gonna... You can also pick different colors, but let's stick with choosing a storyboard panel. So for my next card, it will look the way that I want it to look, uh, which is the option that I want it. So here we go. It's an index card. Then I'm going to move over to the settings. When I go to the settings template, when I hit the template option, I want this one. So I'm going to tap on that one. And there we go. Now, what does this allow me to do? Let's say I want to create some sort of a setting. I'm pretending that my first shot is in front of the school and I have a child uh, in front of the school. And so I'm going to begin to draw that. So uh, we'll cut to the finished product of drawing to put a person in it. We will cut to a person, a person in, my in my shot. shot. And I'm thinking I want the sun in my shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the sun. Kind of hard for me to do this with this hand, but um, I will, I think I'm going to do another cut. No, I'm going to try it. There we go. So there is the sun. I'm drawing the sun. But now I've decided I don't want the sun to be on this side. So what I want to do is go up to my lasso option. And kids love this. Go to my lasso option. Click on the lasso, which is this one right here. Once I click on the lasso, it allows me to grab anything I want and move it. So I'm going to circle this. I don't want the sun here. So now the sun is over here and kids are usually like, wow, the sun is over here. So yes, you can do that. You can move the sun where you want it to be. Once I top anywhere on the screen, now my lasso effect is gone. The next thing that I can do in those options that you saw is at the top, I also have a text option. The text option, as you saw the lines for the storyboard is where we will put our information. So a box in storyboarding is called the panel. That's that rectangle that you see where my picture is in. And then I have these lines so I can begin to tell my story. So let's say, yay, first day of school. I'm going to type that in. Here's, and I can begin to type in, give my character a name. I'll call her Sarah. And then Sarah will say, yay, first day of school, because she's so excited to go into school. Sarah. It is the first day of school. I should have probably done lowercase, so kids correct that. Lowercase f and lowercase, lowercase s. But Sarah, it's the first day of school. That is our first line of dialogue in this particular film. And then you keep creating more of these templates, um, of these boxes, these panels, to continue telling your story for however long you'd like to do storyboarding. It's just that simple. Of course, um, it has erasing, but this is a simple introduction to card flow.